looking for purchase loans that's been originated the last two years that were all on FHA loans. Loan amounts, you know, you could say a minimum 250 and it has to have their name, their address and their phone number, email if possible. And that list has to be scrubbed. It has to show their lender, their rate and their loan amount and the term, 30 year fix, five year arm, right? And the reason for this is because each and every contact now turns into two or three transactions within 18 months. Every single loan you do is going to turn to three loans within 18 months. So develop that train of thought. Even if you're selling just any regular purchase loan, develop the train of thought and set the expectation that you're going to do the transaction again in six months. It helps them accept the rate. It helps them accept the fees. They understand that it's for greater costs. As far as, you know, it's in the last two years. What if they're still not within that 80% LTV, you know, with the program so that I can actually get them out of the FHA? You can go conventional all the way up to 90% borrow paid MI or LPMI. If they're a FHA and they finance 95%, they have lifetime MI. Yeah. That makes sense. So I could still yeah, get yeah. you in the conventional, but in the very least, so you, I can catch it and say the income shot, right? Or they lost their job. Well, I got to streamline. So now I got out. They're going to drip into one of the buckets. They're going to go back to FHA streamline or possible FHA full doc if they have no money and they need to finance the closing costs, right? Or they're going to go into conventional. So there's three buckets they're going to drip into. And my goal is to fill them up every day. Message you. Sales remastered.